Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew and welcome to today's special edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, today's edition is special because here in South Africa we are celebrating Heritage Day, which is the reason I'm wearing this shirt to celebrate my African heritage because I'm born, bred and raised in South Africa. I am proudly South African family and today we are celebrating our heritage. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 from the Amplified Classic Translation, and it reads as follows. Therefore, if any person is engrafted in Christ, the Messiah, he is a new creation, a new creature altogether. The old previous moral and spiritual condition has passed away. Behold, the fresh and new has come. Family, you're probably wondering why I chose this particular portion of scripture, which is slightly different from our usual Psalms and Proverbs reading. I've chosen the scripture because I believe that this speaks to our heritage family. Whether we're born again or not, each and every one of us here on earth have a earthly, secular, fleshly heritage, a lineage that we come from. Even though I'm born, bred and raised in South Africa, my lineage comes from England and Great Britain on both my mother and my father's side. I have a earthly lineage. However, family, the difference is when we get born again, we get a different heritage. The old things, our old earthly secular heritage passes away and our new heritage, the Christ heritage, the kingdom heritage, the godly heritage, the eternal heritage all comes into being. We die to our old ways and become a new creation, a new creature all together in Christ. We become engrafted into Christ. We become part of the eternal family of God when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior family. And I believe that this is a wonderful thing because at the end of the day, there are so many things, negative things that come into play with our earthly, fleshly heritage family. You've heard of the sins of the father, the the sins of the father being carried down to the fourth generation. There are certain weaknesses that exist within our heritage, within our lineage, within our culture, and within our earthly lifestyle and the earthly lifestyle of our family and our forefathers. And the beautiful thing about becoming a new creation when we become born again is that all of these old things pass away. All of these limitations, all of these bad habits, all of these weaknesses and everything that comes with being having our fleshly inheritance is gone. It's passed away. It's old. It's gone. It's fleshly. It's gone. And we are new creations in Christ. We are grafted into God's family. We are made co-heirs with Christ. We have the blood of Christ literally running through our veins, the precious blood of Jesus family. And the beautiful thing about this is when we become part of Christ's heritage, Christ's lineage, it doesn't come with all of those limitations. It doesn't come with all of those restrictions. It doesn't come with all the negative things that our earthly lineage comes with. And please don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here and saying that our earthly lineage is horrible and we must renounce it and we must never celebrate and all that kind of thing. No, family, we must still celebrate it. I mean, I'm wearing a shirt celebrating my African heritage. Many of us out there are celebrating our various heritages whether it be African, whether it be European, whatever it might be, family, we're celebrating our heritage today. But the point of this where I'm getting to is that I want us to also take the opportunity today to celebrate as born again believers our godly heritage. The fact that we have been born again into the family of God, the fact that the old things have passed away and we became a new creation, a new creature in Christ. And we have adopted that wonderful godly heritage and lineage that doesn't have the limitations and the weaknesses and the restrictions that our earthly heritages have from our earthly heritage heritage here on earth. And the reason I want us to celebrate our godly heritage today as well, family, is because the more we celebrate it, the more we read about it, the more we understand about it, the more we understand about who and what we are in Christ, the more we can walk in the fullness of what God has for our lives going forward so that we can walk continuously in the perfect plan and his perfect will for our lives. Because as I've said so many times in this series, there is no better place to be than in the perfect will of God, because everything that we truly need is found only in the perfect will of God family. So we need to 
learn more about what our heritage is as we are celebrating our earthly heritage and as we have learned so much about our earthly heritage we need to do the exactly the same if not even more for our godly heritage family because at the end of the day we are created in the very likeness and image of god we are created as a spirit being and we have a spiritual inheritance from god and the more we gain an understanding of this the more we can walk in it family so i want to encourage you gain a greater understanding celebrate your godly heritage and walk in it family walk in the fullness of who God has created you to be so that you can do and accomplish all that he's set for you to do and accomplish in this life. And family, one thing I want to mention about our godly heritage is that when we are born again, we become part of the family of God. We become one with Christ. We become part of the body of Christ. And the beautiful thing is that we become brothers and sisters in Christ as well. And that means that all things like race and gender and age and skin color and culture and all of these kinds of things pass away and that's why i say it is so powerful to have this godly inheritance to have this godly heritage that we can celebrate on this day because all of these things pass away we can all become one and things like racism and sexism and discrimination of all these kinds of things should naturally then pass away because we should no longer see these things because that's not what god sees when he looks at us that's not what we are at the end of the day as born again children of God. You see family, things like racism and sexism at the end of the day are actually forms of hatred. And the Bible goes as far to, or Jesus himself goes as far as to say that if we hate one of our brothers and sisters, we are in fact committing murder to them. And that is a serious sin family. And that means that when we commit racism, we are actually committing a very serious sin in the Lord's eyes. We are discriminating against a child one of his children, one of his people that he has created. And I don't know about you, but maybe you're a father out there. If you're a father and somebody speaks ugly about one of your children, you're going to get defensive. You're going to get upset. You're going to get angry. And it's the exact same thing with God family. So let's make the decision today on this Heritage Day to put aside all forms of racism and sexism and discrimination of any kind towards any particular group of people because that's not how God sees us and that's not what God want for, wants for us as his children. He wants us to be brothers and sisters in Christ who get along and who love one another and don't discriminate against one another family. So let's make that decision today here on this Heritage Day that we will go forward without racism, without discrimination, without sexism of any kind in our lives and we pray for the Lord to help us get through this family because it is possible. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought on this special heritage day. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you that we can come today and celebrate Heritage Day, Lord, here in South Africa, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we can celebrate our earthly heritage and lineage on this day, Lord, and for all that it is all that it represents in our lives and in our past, Lord. But we thank you, Lord, more importantly, that on this day that we can also celebrate our godly heritage, our godly lineage as born-again children of God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for all that you've done to accomplish this, Lord, to be able to adopt us into your family, Lord, to be able to fill our veins with your blood, Lord, and so that we can go forward, Lord, walking in our godly heritage, Lord, free of all the restrictions that our earthly heritage comes with, Lord. And we pray, Lord, for each and every person listening, Lord, that you will give each and every one of us a revelation of who we are in Christ and what belongs to us as eternal heirs of the kingdom of God, Lord, so that we can go forth walking in the fullness of our identity in Christ, Lord, to be and do all that you've created us to do and accomplish in this life here on earth, Lord. And we pray, Lord, for each and every person listening to this message who is struggling with some form of racism or sexism or some form of negative attitude and discrimination towards any particular group of people, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you will give them a revelation, Lord, of how you love us, how you see us, and how you want us to love and see one another, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you will strengthen us from your Holy Spirit within, Lord, to walk free of these things, Lord, so that we will no longer have racism and sexism and discrimination of any kind in our lives, Lord, but that we will go forward loving one another as you have instructed us to do. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you're going to do and accomplish in us and through us as your born-again children. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 
Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.